Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing with us and you are glad in it. God is the author of our faith. He's also the finisher of our faith. And in such, he has already blessed us with bountiful blessings in our life. God knows the end from the beginning. He knows exactly what we need even before we pray for it. And he's promised to supply every one of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He's already supplied, according to Ephesians 1, 3, every spiritual blessing we'll ever need in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. All we have to do is access what God has made available. And that's what we're doing today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for pulling your faith in with ours. <clears throat> the Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous makes much available. So I thank you for joining us today. We're going to be praying together and that way you can pray along with us. According to Joshua chapter 15 and verse 19, Joshua chapter 15 and verse 19 from the new King James version of the word of God. And it says, she answered, give me a blessing. Since you have given me land in the South, give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is a young lady that is praying for a blessing from her father. As they have gone into the land that God had promised them, they divided up the land. And this particular father had given his daughters a portion of the land. She says she had given him, uh, he had given her, excuse me, the land in the South. But she knew she needed water to take care of the land, to bless the land and to have the land be a blessing. So she said, give me also springs of water. So her father gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. You know, if we being men know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more will God give good gifts to those who call upon him? So we want to pray and thank God how he's already blessed us. He's already given us territory. He's already given us financial blessings. He's already given us spiritual blessings. And we want to just thank him for those blessings. But we also want to pray and ask God to give us what we need to multiply our current blessings, that we might be a good steward over what he's already supplied us with. You know, that's how God works. God will bless you. Then he'll bless you again in order to continue to be a blessing. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Come on, let's go to God in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you and bless your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Dove, for leading us and guiding us into prayer. God, thank you for tilting our hearts and bending our minds and our will and our emotions toward desiring after you. Thank you, Lord, for your grace, which causes us to hear the word of God and to place faith in our Lord and Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sin and the saving of our soul. Thank you, Lord God, for the blood that has been applied to our life, that we might be able to come before your throne with thanksgiving and enter into your courts with praise and to bless your holy name. Thank you that when we sin, we're able to confess our sins to you and to have you forgive us and purify us of all unrighteousness. So, God, we stand here upon the precipice of, of so many more bountiful blessings, but we want to pause and just thank you for the blessings that you've already bestowed upon us. Thank you for salvation in your name. Thank you for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. Thank you that he lives on the inside of us. He leads and guides us into all truth. We thank you for our fellowship in the gospel with other believers. We thank you for our families and friends and our network. We thank you for our health and our strength. So many bountiful blessings you've already supplied. We thank you for those things in Jesus' name. And we also pray, Lord, that you'll continue to bless us. As that young woman asked her father for land, he gave it. Then she asked for springs that she might water it, and he gave it. God, give us what we need to continue to be a blessing upon top of the blessings that you've already provided. We pray, Lord God, you'd give us the wisdom to handle the resources that you've already given to us. We pray, Lord God, you would give us the guidance to handle what you've already bestowed upon us. We pray, Lord, you give us the direction that we might know what to do, how to do, and when to do it with what you've already supplied. Lord, if it had not been for you, we would still be stuck in the places that we came from. We would still be stuck in lack and least. And now, God, you've blessed us with more and more, and you've blessed us with abundance, and you've blessed us with overflowing blessings. God, let us not become arrogant 
and thinking we know how to handle it. Lord, we come back to you asking us, helping us, asking you to help us to do what it is we need to do in order to handle the blessings you've already given to us. Lord, we thank you and bless you and praise you for making us stewards over what belongs to you. Now, Lord God, I pray that you would water the lands that you've given to us, that we might bear fruit in the land that glorifies you. And we believe victory in the life of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I praise God for you joining in again with us today. As we pray today, we pray day number 28 from Joshua chapter 15 and verse 19 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. She answered, give me a blessing. Since you have given me land in the south, give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. Amen. Thank God today for what he's already done. And then ask God to bless you on top of that so you can continue to keep the blessing that he gave you going. That's how good God is. He's the giver of every good and perfect gift. He's the giver of the bountiful blessings. Listen, I'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.